Welcome back. So happy to have you. My daughters are coming over today for a tea party in remembrance of my sweet mom. She passed away recently after battling Alzheimer's. She lived a wonderful life. I've been thinking a lot lately about her. And one of the things is she found great pleasure over a cup of tea, always wanted to know every detail of my life. And she did this for everybody. She also taught me the art of setting a beautiful table. It, it's as a form of caring for others. And it was her way of honoring her mother and her mother's mother and so on all the way back. She knew how to savor the moments with those that she loved most. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're having a high tea. We're having champagne, hot tea, wonderful food, fresh scones, clotted cream, and uh, a beautiful table setting. So let me show you how it was done. So a tea party is not really a tea party without scones. And having scones is the easiest part for me in that I make scones in bulk all the way down to cutting them into shapes and I freeze them and that they're so easy to, to pull out one or two or three or five, um, great for breakfast, but perfect for a tea party. And so these are um, four scones that I pulled out last night. They needed to thaw in the refrigerator and they're thawed, ready to bake off 350, about 20 minutes. I also made a clotted cream or a mock clotted cream, which is 50% heavy whipping cream, 50% or equal parts mascarpone and whipping cream. And you whip them just the way you would whip a, um, a, a whipped, whipped cream with a little bit of sugar and it's gorgeous. It's perfect for the scones. For the tea sandwiches, we're going to make three types. One is an egg salad, the other is a chicken salad, and the third is standard English cucumber and radish um, sandwich. And I have some fun little, uh, I have these arugula microgreens, which are kind of fun, and I don't have watercress. Fresh dill chives, so let's get started.
The sandwiches can dry out really fast. So I've got a, a wet paper, paper towel that I wrung out really well and it goes right over the sandwiches just while I make the next sandwich. sandwich is done. I want to put a little bit of this uh, micro arugula on the egg salad, which I forgot, but it's okay to kind of have it hanging over the edge. There we go. Beautiful. And one last. Then I'm gonna put the towel back on and saran wrap and into the fridge. Next, I'm gonna set up the dessert and do a couple of little crackers and then we'll be finished with the food portion. Everything that I've used and made, I pretty much had in the house. Other than this, I, I saw this blueberry vanilla goat cheese and I, I just thought it sounded fabulous. And I bought these little, um, these tiny little crisps. So I'm going to just spread, I'm just gonna make four of these. And they just look pretty and they just add a little something fresh and different. So just a little spread on the top of each little crisp. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And then three little pistachios in the design of a little flower. So I'm gonna make three of these, or three more. Assembly is the fun part. For the dessert portion of the of the, the dessert stand, I'm putting in store-bought. These are little tarts. Just gonna assemble to make them beautiful. And then I have these sea salt caramel chocolates that are go right in between. Yum. And 
some little chocolate chip shortbreads. Traditional tea, typically you start at the bottom with the sandwiches and then the second layer, some fruits, and then we'll work our way up to the desserts with our tea and champagne. Here we go. Flower. Last, but certainly not least, is the tea. Um, I, I warm up the teapot in the oven because the oven's warm after making the scones. It's a nice, very hot teapot. Actually, this is a coffee pot, but... And then I also save a lot of steps here because I don't like doing things that take too much time. This is five, this is a five cup pot. So a tablespoon is three teaspoons. So that's three. And then I'm gonna do a total of six. That's one teaspoon for every cup plus a teaspoon for the pot. Stir it around. This is Earl Grey tea, by the way. It has a little bergamot oil in it. 
It's delicious. And as far as steeping, for me personally, I've learned that I like tea that's not as heavily steeped because it can get bitter. And then I just have a really fine mesh screen here. My pot has a little pour spout. So in it goes into the hot pot. Easy peasy. All right, tea party's ready to go. My daughter has just shown up. The other one behind the camera is already here. She does such a great job. Hot tea. We're ready for the tea party. Once again, this has been really fun. Wishing you a great day.